everyone welcome again to another tutorial of uh, internal medicine by the medical forum this is about benign early repolarization now what's benign early repolarization that's what we are going to talk about and I'm Dr. Ishfaq registrar in internal medicine now what is benign early repolarization it is actually a benign ECG pattern. It produces a widespread ST segment elevation, which is commonly seen in young, healthy individuals who are less than 50 year old. It is also known as the J point elevation. It can also mimic myocardial infarctions or acute pericarditis. So it is extremely important so that we distinguish is it really benign early repolarization or is it something sinister. Now what are the salient features? If we look at an ECG, there would be widespread concave ST elevations more common in the precordial leads like V2 to V5. You would see a notching at the J point. There won't be any reciprocal ST segment depressions to suggest occlusions. And there would be prominent asymmetrical T waves that are concordant with the QRS complex. From that I mean that the T waves would be on the same direction as the major QRS complex. Now look at this uh, ECG. So if I can take a laser pointer. Now here if you see the precordial leads uh, you would see that the ST uh, elevation is sort of concave and there's a concave ST elevations and you see the T waves are upright in their concordant uh, T waves and uh, you see here on the ST elevations which are widespread you see some notching notching of the uh, ST uh, J points so why is it important so basically since it can mimic acute MIs and pericarditis and uh, it is very common that we misdiagnose these either we may overdiagnose benign early repolarization so either we miss MIs and uh, pericarditis and one thing to note that it is very rare in people above 70 years old so it is more common in people younger than 50 year old now what's the benign early repolarization pattern you see it is like a half of a smiley face so this ST uh, elevation uh, takes a concave shape which almost represents this look for benign early repolarization and then just note this uh, notching of uh, the J point. Like I said the notching of the J point where you see here there's a notch here, there's a notch here, there's a notch here. So the notching of the J point is quite important. So at times these benign early repolarizations can be dynamic uh, in a very long term course and uh, it can vary with uh, sympathetic processes occurring in the body as well like the change in the rate and etc. Although it is not common to see rapid dynamicity like in acute coronary syndromes in benign early repolarizations, uh, they, these changes can pretty much regress when there is an advancing of age so when you talk about peri benign early repolarization how do we differentiate basically look at lead v6 the precordial lead look at lead v6 measure the height of the st segment and the amplitude of the t wave the height of the st segment and the height of uh, the amplitude of the t wave and if the ratio of STT is more than 0.25, it is more consistent with pericardial. So you see here, this is the height I am talking about. Now if this height and this height, if the ratio is uh, more than 0.25, it is more uh, in favor of acute pericarditis. So here look at this, uh, in acute pericarditis, the ratio is more than 0.25 in uh, this slide in the previous slide what we saw was uh, this T wave 
amplitude is longer lengthier that makes the ratio more smaller which it favors benign early repolarization on the contrary to this and uh, that's all folks i hope you enjoyed this really very small uh, tutorial and i hope you uh, check out my page on facebook and instagram do give us a like and share and uh, give this video like share and thumbs up and if you like it please comment thank you i'll see you on another video until then